G'day everyone, welcome to another video about a front ledger, but my name is Andrew Cook, and of course by the title you can tell, but probably aren't actually aware of what this video is about. Of course you can see that it's about a Mass Effect gun, the Argus Rifle, but not many people actually know what it is. So the Argus Rifle is actually a weapon that you can only get through the pre-ordered version of Mass Effect 3. I only found that out after creating the gun, so I was quite happy that I chose a gun that is quite rare, so to speak, compared to the other guns that you could unlock if you did not buy the pre-ordered edition. So it kind of makes it a bit more... Um, I don't know, it gives it a bit more prowess as a weapon and kind of stands out to be something different compared to just the normal standard N7 looking assault rifle. So of course if you've been following me you will know that I have touched on, on some Mass Effect weapons throughout my past, such as this N7 assault rifle, as well as this gun which I never still haven't found out who what it really belongs to, whether it was the Geth or some, I don't know what. what it just was a cool gun from Aspect 3, which I only had like a 2 centimeter picture to work from. But hopefully now with the upcoming game release of it, um, we should be able to find out what it is, because it was a cool gun, and this hit the internet by storm, and you all loved it. Now, of course, I got the attention of a couple of people. Yes, you may have seen my video up on IGN of me creating the Mass Effect 3 Assault Rifle. And um, Bioware have also loved seeing my photos and the production of my Mass Effect suit out of EVA foam. And now the Mass Effect 3 come, is coming back. I absolutely love the Mass Effect stories, and I really want to get back into making the props and doing the suits and everything to kind of give me a break from Halo. So back to the Argus Assault Rifle. Now, like I said, I didn't really know what it was at the time. I just thought it was a pretty damn epic gun that looks amazing. Um, I didn't know how I would achieve it with paint, so I really tested out spray paint. I know I've been telling you guys don't ever use spray paint on foam. It's just a well-known fact you don't use it. But I found a way around it, and I'm really happy now. As you can probably see, one of my SMGs here in the back, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's kind of got a bit more of a shiny tints to it compared to uh, a shotgun or something. That's because now I've gone over and coated all my guns with exterior paints. Now, what are exterior paints? Um, they're pretty much normal standard paints. They're acrylic and all, but they're used on houses, like the outer walls and stuff. They're protecting from um, rain and weather. Like, they're literally meant to last on the wall for at least a good five years. So, I'm starting to use this, so whether you want to use black, um, it's quite hard to find black for exterior houses because no one wants to paint their house black. Um, but even whites or anything, and then you go over it with the spray paint, it completely coats the styrofoam. And when you're drying it off, never put it in the sun to dry because the uh, sun white will heat it up and it will absolutely make hell with your weapon. It will make oxygen bubbles and everything. But we'll get back to the Argus Assault Rifle. Here it is. Now, the thing I loved about the Mass Effect guns is that they are big. They're big, chunky, bulky, really look kind of almost futuristic, but you could also say they kind of look a bit more sci-fi and um, concept art looking kind of thing. The thing I like about this gun is that it also kind of looks like a District 9 gun, um, mainly because it's just the alternative of the grey the gray, and the white. Um, if you were to look at a picture of this gun, Mass Effect Assault Rifle M22 Argus Assault Rifle, you'll see I pretty much matched the colouring, um, the detail, the... Um, weathering and the war-torn effect pretty nicely, almost 100% identical, which is something I actually quite liked. Now, yes, this actually has been spray-painted. So it started off as a normal block of styrofoam, like every other one of my guns, but then over time I built up layers, six layers of just normal paint, and then finally an overlay of the exterior house paint to top it off with a nice spray paint of white and a whole bunch of other glosses to really bring out the effect and sell it as a weapon. So I'm very proud of this, I'm now moving into my, I think it's my fourth generation of weapon creation, which is now a more advanced stage where I can now bring realism to the weapons, because they did look a bit fake before, but now giving them this nice tint, they can look pretty cool. So, I'll be moving into Mass Effect weapons now, but this is the Argus Assault Rifle, I know I've talked quite a bit in this video, but everything I say usually is for a purpose, and to give you guys ideas of how to expand your weapons, and focus on more. Now if you want to see the production of this, there will be a video uh, link at the end of this video, or you can actually find it in the link below, which can take my Facebook page, where you can see photos of it until I actually upload the video. It probably won't be straight after this if you're watching it within 10 days of the upload date, but I'll try to get it on as soon as I can. But this is it. This is it. The Mass Effect... Oh my god. Too much talking. Uh, the Mass Effect 3 Assault Rifle, the Argus Assault Rifle, from the pre-ordered edition. If you want to use this in the game, well, you're going to have to pre-order the game. Or you can just customize it yourself. But otherwise, it's a pretty nice gun. I'm very happy with the way it's turned out. And I can't wait to start doing more Mass Effect guns in the future. And I have no idea how this thing really shoots. I haven't played Mass Effect 3 demo yet. I've got it, but I haven't played it yet. I don't know why. I'm just super busy doing all this. 
and maybe you'll be seeing a little Mass Effect 3 live action trailer coming up by me before the release date. But I'll mm, talk more about that when I release some more guns. My name's Andrew Cook. This is the Frontline Trooper. If you want to see the creation, like I said, go to my Facebook fan page. If you want to get in touch with me, go to my Facebook fan page. If you want to know anything else about me or everything that I'm doing or want to learn more, Facebook fan page, see photos, artwork, everything there. Facebook fan page. Have a good day.